Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create animated rain effect on an image. This was a request left on my Facebook page. So here I am. Let's get started. So firstly, I'm going to open an image to work on. We are going to add rain droplets first. So create a new layer by clicking on this button and rename the layer to rain this will make it easier to differentiate between layers for best practice keep doing this now i am going to fill the rain layer to black go to edit fill use to black if it's not already set to black by default then click ok then we are going to add noise to the background go to filter noise add noise 25% amount is okay for my image you can experiment with this as the amount will vary depending on the quality of your image then also make sure Gaussian is selected and monochromatic then click ok now I am going to add scale to this to enlarge it for this go to edit transform scale it is very important that you click on this link button to maintain the same width and height ratio. This means it will change the height as you are changing the width. So enter 400% in the width. This will also set the height at 400% to and click the confirmation mark. Moving on. I am now going to change the layer blend mode from normal to screen. For those that may want a snowy effect, this will be great. You can also change the scale size like we did before to make it appear larger. If you would like a tutorial, let me know. Okay, now I am going to right click on the rain layer and click on convert to smart object now we are going to add motion blur to it which will make it look closer to rain go to filter blur motion blur i have set the angle to negative 48 degrees and distance to 75 pixels you will have to experiment with this to see what suits your image then click OK once done. Now to add contrast to the rain, click on adjustment layer icon, labels. Click on this clipping mask to make sure the changes we make to the labels doesn't affect all the layers because we only want to apply to the rain layer. Here you can play around with the stops by sliding left and right to get your desired result close the window when you are happy with that if you need to you can also go back to the motion blur effect by double clicking to change the distance or angle i'm changing the distance to 80 now great once you are happy with how it's looking so far, merge the Levels 1 layer and the Rain layer. Use Ctrl and click on Levels layer. So this will select both Rain and Levels layer. Then press Ctrl and E to merge. Then change the layer blend mode to Screen again. And rename the layer to Rain. Okay. Before we add the animation, we need to duplicate the rain layer. Use Ctrl and J to duplicate and rename to rain2. Then activate free transform tool using Ctrl and T. If you can't see the scale then press Ctrl and 0. So it zooms out. Then drag the corners out a little and press the confirmation mark. 
then duplicate rain 2 layer and rename it to rain 3 activate free tools from tool ctrl and t then again drag out the corners and press the confirmation mark now to zoom back in use ctrl and 0 now it's time to add animation go to window timeline duplicate the frame twice so that you have three frames in total then change the frame seconds to 0 0.2 seconds you can experiment with this according to how fast you want the rainfall to be then click on frame 1 and make rain 2 and 3 layers invisible move on to frame 2 make sure it is selected and only make the background and rain 2 layer visible then for frame 3 have the background layer and frame 3 visible if you now press play to test the outcome it will be a beautiful rain animation to save it as animation file save for web it must be in gif format which is this save for web option already does then select a location and save and there you have it that was all the steps you need to create a rain effect animation Thank you so much for watching, please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Also feel free to leave any suggestions for more videos you would like to see.